Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Today in this drawing, I will guide you for excavation. That's why because this is excavation plan of three-story residential building. So if you need house planning, structural drawing, 3D animation for any type of building, so you can contact me on this WhatsApp number. This is paid services, not for free. And the other page guys you can see this is foundation plan and you can see inside the footing these are column positioning etc so let's get start guys if you see guys here this is excavation plan which width is here the first one which is eight feet that's why because sometime uh, we need to uh, excavate the raft foundation sometime we uh, need uh, to excavate the semi raft foundation sometime individual footing sometime uh, combined footing because it's depend on the structure load of building okay so guys if you see here we have a b c d and e if you see here this is footing three which size is six feet eight inches by six feet and eight inches if you see the other page guys here this is f3 okay guys you can see this is the column size is same okay in e section Therefore, guys, if you see this section, in this section, we have four columns. One, two, three, four columns we have. And the excavation width is here, eight feet. And the length, guys, you can see, which is 34 feet and 1.5 inches. Guys, you can see here, this is connected with the other footing size is eight feet and the length is 34 feet and 1.5 inch. So the same length, guys, you can see for this excavation. So these are short excavation and these are long, which is F1 and F1. Guys, you can see these are footings for these are column. Okay, that's why because this is foundation plan. Next, guys, you can see here the size of this F3. If F3 uh, is six feet and eight inches, guys, you can see these are F3. The F2 width is 8 feet and the length you can see 34, 1.5 inch. This is also F2. And guys, you can see here, uh, this is steer location. So the steer location also, uh, the excavation is here in F1. The length you can see 44 feet, 3.5 inches. Guys, you can see now, this is uh, excavation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 9. Guys, you can see if you see its columns. So in column, guys, you can see f2 so we have an eight section again guys you can see seven and seven guys you can see this is f3 if you see nine and nine we have f2 also so f2 excavation is same also column positionings are same that's why because this is one central line look here so i'm making it central line look here this is its central line so therefore guys you can see this is b excavation or b footing so this is A, so if you see its center line is same, starting from this point, and this is its ending point. So this is its center line. Size of the column is, size of column, which is 18 by 18 inches. This is size of column. If you see the maximum span is here, maximum and minimum span. Let me guide you for minimum and maximum span. Guys here, the maximum span is here eight feet, nine feet. This is main, uh, sorry, this is medium and the maximum is 11 feet and six inches, as you can see here clearly. Next, if you see F2 and footing number two, the spacing is here eight feet and six inches. The other one is also eight feet and six inches. That's why, because this is commercial building, uh, residential building and columns, also footings are close with each other. If you are making rough foundation, that is very uh, expensive, but this one is economical for uh, for normal residential building. That's why, because these uh, places are free, guys, you can see. Look here. These are free. Therefore, this is called semi-raft. If you provide concrete, are steel reinforcement for the entire area that is called raft foundation so you can take decision uh, from the structure load of any uh, kind of building so if that is a residential building or